Autonomous Interactive Radio is an experiment in community radio. It's a radio station where you and your friends are the DJs, sharing music that you want to hear. By emailing an MP3 file to the radio station's Gmail address, your song is added to a queue to be broadcast on an FM radio frequency. Radio is a homogenous platform. Top 40 music dominates the airwaves. Governments are defunding public media. Minority groups, subcultures, and people who do not participate in mainstream culture are not served by this public medium. AIR flips the traditional top-down power structures of radio to create a platform that gives underserved groups access to the airwaves. It takes ideas of public space and applies it to the radio spectrum. AIR was one of six projects selected by Interactivos, a 10-day arts tech workshop in Ljubljana, Slovenia. Ljubljana is a city with a progressive radio climate, including a communist-structured student radio station and an experimental radio arts group. We brought AIR to Publix in three ways. We created a public intervention at a popular cafe in central Ljubljana. We set up an AIR pirate radio station broadcasting on 88.8 .8 FM and the cafe tuned in so its patrons can listen. We conducted live interviews with strangers, asking them what they thought about the concept. While it was fun, the interaction was too fleeting to have any lasting impact on the public we were reaching. We hosted an autonomous interactive radio show on Radio Student 100.5 FM in Ljubljana. The show was advertised in advance and we liberally used jingles during the broadcast to explain air. There were glimpses of participation, but on a large scale, it was difficult to challenge the idea that radio can be a space for interaction as well as for listening. At Interactivos, we created an air pirate radio station for the 30 workshop participants. For five straight days, we tuned radios in every room, including the kitchen and bathroom, to the station's frequency, 88.8 .8 FM. Air was well liked in this environment, and the content was entirely user submitted. It's possible that self-regulation was a part to the success at Interactivos. Workshop participants got to know one another, and we caught them occasionally talking about the station amongst themselves. People figured out who was responsible for what was played, and created informal social pressures to direct the overall soundscape of the radio. You can build your own air pirate broadcast station with an FM transmitter, the open source air software, a Raspberry Pi, a Gmail account, and an internet connection. With a 250 milliwatt FM transmitter, this setup will cover a few city blocks. An antenna for the transmitter will increase your range. The parts of the station cost less than $200.